Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Darkest Dungeon. Now, last time we played with the Vestal. Uh, she currently dropped, she got the update came up, and she was the new character. Uh, after playing with that, we realized that our team comp at the time was less than desired. So, I've come up with a fairly good team comp, and, I mean, let's just be honest. Uh, of course, the Leper is going to be our front man. I feel like we always play with the Leper, but he is just a glorious bastard at what he does. Uh, she's at, The Vestal is actually going to be in second when I do this, and I'm debating on what to change, because I would like the administrations at some point. I don't really use this. I know I should. But um, that would be very good to upgrade as well. But because of this hand of light, so she can do she can do uh, other things. So we'll do, if she needs to heal or if we need to get rid of some debuffs on people, we can just move her back. That's where the jester comes in. The jester has his movement ability: uh, go forward, go back. Instead of ballot fillet, I'm gonna do play out, so I can pick and choose who moves back one, and so on and so forth. And so he does the stress healing, basically, and then also adds a crap ton of bleed. And then the occultist is going to be our big, big healer slash support character. He's going the ritualist route, so he's going to be giving more heals. She's more of a support, he's more of a bleed. So it's kind of this weird uh, transition where I have three supports, and then the leper who does a shit ton of damage. Uh, with the leper, he's also the tempest. And also, he has Hue. Now, we just need to click and let's get this started. Now, if you want to be named after one of these people, uh, let me know. And I will throw you in there in the next uh, time I play. Uh, just to let you know that the next time... Not the next episode, so... I believe this is going. To, this is episode twenty. So episode twenty and twenty one uh, are going to be pre-recorded together, uh, because next weekend the family's coming down. I'm going to spend some time with them. I usually record on the weekends, so I won't really have time to really record. I know what that means. I don't want to do it yet. So I'm going to see if I can upgrade people, like Jester, give him, ooh, ooh, more health, plus 10 to debuffing, and the Confessor. Hmm, uh, I wish, I wish I, uh, read that first. Um, so I think what we'll do is we'll give the Leper some more HP, and then we will grab some items. Uh, first up, let's grab, let's just do one of each. So we'll start with a trinket. A greater cleansing sensor. That's pretty good. Uh, we'll get a neutralizing powders. You get 66% poison resistance for a turn, and then gain on poison resist minus one. That's pretty good. Bottle case. Increased stack of alba, uh, ablative powders, clotting powders, neutralizing powders, shimmering powders, and laudanum by six per stack. That's pretty cool. And then we'll get an in item. Uh, clarifying pulpless. Uh, plus 40% stun resist until next. And that is all of our... That's right, we get that. Done. Yeah, we get a bunch of that. Um... So I think for him, he's going to be that resist. Uh, who does have the, like, he's got, like, basically 100. So 20, 30, 30. So Julia, you get that. And then we'll we'll equip the, I mean, we don't really need that because we don't have any of those, really. And we don't really have, the only powders we have is the neutralizing powder. So I might just scrap this. Um... For now, again, we haven't unlocked a lot of powders, so it doesn't really matter to us as much at the moment to get to install that onto our cart. The desperate few. We can get 
a bandage, a food item, a trinket. I do like usually going for a trinket. It just helps. Uh, not that trinket, though. Um, not that trinket. I, I don't like this trinket because fly on hit, fly on miss. I mean, I haven't really... I haven't actually used this. So I guess I can give it to... No, no. Let's give it to... We'll give it to the Jester and see what happens. Um, medical herbs is something that would be nice to buy. I mean, that would be nice. Eh, that would be okay. The Flapjacks would also be nice to buy, but honestly, really... Any of this at the moment, I mean, that and that, I would say it would be a good purchase. Everything else is kind of just trash at the moment. So, I think what we're going to do is give this to him. Uh, we're going to also give him that and Julia that. Uh, I guess for now, we'll equip it because we do have a chance of finding the powders in the you know, in the maps, so I guess we'll equip it for now, as long as there's nothing to equip when we get to, say, the inn. But, because at that point, it's just mine as well. Like, there's no point in not installing something when you have the space, and plus, we can always uninstall it at the next inn. So, we'll, we'll do that, and then we'll go from there. Let's see how good we are at the moment. Of course, he's dazed. So at the moment, I'm going to... attack that one. That gives her more damage and more blocks. Slice off. So she's bleeding. And then what I can do... Yeah, he's dead. Of course, he got dazed. I could just do Hue, damage both of them. So we're not to the point where it's instantaneous. But it's to the point where we're damn solid. Uh, I can actually do that on you. I haven't looked at anyone's uh, skills yet as well. I probably should do that. So you get a little bit of sliced off. So is that the right one? Yep. And then you get a little holy hand of light over here. Again, I think it's more of just an attack to give... Uh, give her these uh, stacks. Because once we get to three stacks, we can backtrack and then basically make someone really good with how... Uh, it comes out to be. Bleeding is still kind of your issue, so I'll throw that on you. Um, you have 30 stun resist, 20, 20, 20. I might just use the Poultist for uh, maybe our Cultist. Because I noticed that our backline does get more... Um, more, uh, what's it called? Issues with that. It has more of an issue. So I think first thing I'm going to do is upgrade the heal like I do. Uh, and then if I upgrade to you, random adjacent here. Oh! That's actually really good. I also upgrade the ballot. Ballet, I should say. And if I do this too, they cannot gain that again. Hue would probably be a good one as well. It, it's a pretty good bolster, but Chop also gets bolstered, and that's more single target. I think in the beginning, we're going to be doing dealing with a lot more, um, more, what's it called? Uh, Multi-target. So I think for now... We're going to, if I upgrade you, 
Uh, I mean, it's going to be less than 33%. I think I'm going to go with Hand of Light, because that seems really good, giving just the next people a chance. Uh, ooh. Oh. Oh, oh, okay, we have to choose here. Um, travel heal, or I'm gonna get the suspension. I'm gonna get the suspension, and and that's just to hopefully give people a chance to not rip each other's throats out. So we have to enter the sprawl, we have to enter the tangle, we have to visit a field hospital, and we have to visit a heal hero shrine. Um. What else do we need? I mean, that would be nice, but I think we'll be fine. I mean, I'm okay. So let's select the route. We can go to the sluice right away, or we can enter the tangle. Uh, plus 10% meltdown chance. No time to bleed. Avoid the field hospital. That I need to go to the field hospital. Um... I think we'll actually go to the Tangle. We'll go to the Tangle, and if we are in line with the Field Hospital, we might just say screw it and go to the Field Hospital anyway, because we're only getting one candle as a reward for not going, and we'll get a candle if we do go. So, it depends on the situation. It all depends on the situation. Oh, the field hospital's right there. So I think what we could do is we can head straight. I mean, that's an oasis. That's pretty nice. We'll head straight. We'll grab the hospital. Uh, we'll hit the lair. I don't think we're going to actually be able to do anything with the lair. Um, and then we'll just stick to the left. Left has a chance... Uh, we'll, we'll, yeah, that's what we'll do. So, straight to the unknown, field hospital, lair, uh, watchtower, etc. I mean, we got a candle just from visiting. Anyway. So that's pretty good. Uh, the leaflet on our, that we installed should boost the amount of positives that we do. We can get money... We could get money, or we can lose money and get a bunch of stuff. I mean, let's lose money and get a bunch of stuff. It's not that big of a deal. Uh, unless it's all trash, it's pretty decent. Uh, we will give the light to our, our uh, leper. Yeah, no, sorry. We're going straight. Because fools, fools we are. Yeah, yeah. Tell such a big story. I'm hoping that, uh, I'm pretty sure another thing we could do, oh, we only have six. And we need, like, s minimum 16. Yeah. So, I mean, we could buy some extra stuff if we wanted to. Um, I mean, might as well just buy one of these. Because Julia is... That. So, even though we're not going to play the goal of this level, which is to not visit the field hospital, we did get two out of it. So, honestly, I don't care. Um... They're going first, so it's like, it doesn't really matter, but... Oh, that's beautiful. I do enjoy that. That's pretty good. It would be nice to get a curse on someone. Because he is blind, so we do have to curse someone in order to get them... Or get him to be able to hit them well. That's rude. That's just rude. So, 
we can just go all the bam 33 crit that's so nice front mortar that's kind of rude uh he is hurt so we could probably do a little bit of healing in a minute I suggest pulling him to the front. And that's fine. He, she was protected. Kind of protected. Um, I think we'll leave him to the jester. Because that's a death blow. That just leaves you to just, uh, kind of just dunk on that guy. And we do have another turn. So if we can swing it, eh, we'll do a little slice off here. Um, I mean, might as well just kill him. It's not going to be an issue. I'll take both. I'll take it all. I'll take it all. But uh, we are heading towards the uh, lair at the moment. And, I mean, our team is good. Don't get me wrong. Our team is very good. At, at least for the couple of battles we have attempted to. We have attempted at the moment. I just don't know where our line is. And... Uh, what I mean by that, like, is it possible, like, are we set up to actually go in there and do something like this General's Keep? Um, we'll see, because this guy is kind of like the Tier 2. Uh, which... I would like to bring him up front, to be completely honest. Hit him with that, hopefully that transfer the front, nice. We could then do a little bit of slice off right there. Get into bleed, maybe. Okay. And then while we're here, it's like, hey, guess what? Well, first off, let's get some glimmer of hope here. And we'll just do a bunch of damage. On guard, that's a pain in the ass. Mainly because he does take less damage. And she is getting stressed. We are we are getting to that point. But what we can do is do something like that. It's not an attack, but it removes his one chunk of his uh, his armor. It's his block. We'll do an attack here. Just to spread we're gonna spread out the damage. So I'm almost positive that honestly on this turn, oh it's on Death Star. It's quite rude. So he's going to need to heal. I mean she is full and he's at Death Star. So we do need to heal. And that's a crit. It's a beautiful, beautiful thing. So what we could do is now just hit the back line. Uh, you, honestly, can just... Let's get that off of him. I'm hoping this actually kills. Okay, good. Because if it didn't kill, then that would be kind of an issue. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to move him up one. To... Well... Get her in position to heal if we need it. Which I guess we're just going to. I don't know what we're going to do. Let's just do. Let's just destroy that. Of course, he's blind now. Honestly, we might have to just heal her. But with this, we could just do a little bit of slice off. The enemy and I'm gonna actually cast vulnerability on him. Uh, 
since she's back here, she can heal, she can cure herself. And you're at death's door, which you didn't die. Uh, of course she didn't die. And that's why I moved her back. Because now we have our two healers in the back. She's full powered. Ow. So she can heal herself. If it has to come to it. Of course, you're not dead. Uh, honestly, she might as well. Well, we can curse one of these people. And honestly, we might just, just do a hue. Kill them both off. Another great benefit of hue. Uh, we are not going to advance. Uh, I don't think we're set up yet. Uh, if we were set up with all of our options with healing and more damage and etc then maybe it would be actually pretty good for us to go to that one but I don't think so uh, now if there's a beast down around here that we could have gone to which might be this here or it's probably one of the unknowns I would love to go that one and get like a bonus to that um, we got dogs. Yep, dogs go first, of course, and then you're gonna do the watchdog thing. So this might be a good time for... Um, mm, we'll pull... Oh, okay. We won't pull. We won't pull at all. But we will slice off. Well, let's get rid of the dodge. We're probably going to have to heal with him. I am going to cast Illumination on one of the dogs. She is stressed. She is getting there. Oh boy, you got moved. You got moved and you got stunned. 23, that's a pretty damn good one. Slice off. Let's, again, we're gonna go for the dogs. They're really kind of the pain in the ass here. I think, uh, well, luckily, he can still hit from there. I might not even hit that dog, to be completely honest. I'm just gonna hit the people around it. Shell shock in the back, that's quite rude. That's also quite rude. Everyone's bleeding. Okay. 11 damage, not too good, not too bad. Almost one shot him. It's a very rude. Stop going after my people like that. Uh, we could probably kill off him like that. We can bring that dog forward. Get rid of the dead. That dog's dead. Blister shot. Ow. But now what we can do is we can select her to back up. You to be dead. And then on this turn... I'm going to again heal him up. Four, apparently. We're going to... Hand a light him. Bring back down her stress. What are we at here? Okay. I mean, we're likely to miss. Okay, good. We didn't miss. And bring him close. That's pretty rude. We might have to heal him. Or he could heal himself. A 19? That's a pretty damn good one. And then you can immediately slice off, killing him, and we're good to go. So again, our... Our party isn't perfect yet. We need we still need consumables to use. 
Um, we still need upgrades to our abilities. The tower. Uh, we missed the oh, oh, but that's pretty, that's a good sight right there. The hero. Um, we could go to the cache. And honestly, we might. We might just... Ooh, but she, she wants us to go to the right. Um, well, let's go to the cache. Uh, again, we can easily bring her... Uh, what's it called? Stress down. We're going to have to bring the occultist's stress down. And we are hit with another blockade. I'm hoping... Okay. Stress is exactly the name of this game. So let's br immediately bring his thing down. And we will hit her. I want you to we can curse her as well, because I'm, I'm gonna aim for her. She's, she is going to get an attack off. Which sucks. But. I mean, blighted. That's very rude. But at least I can then kill her off, and that's one less stuns and other such. That we have to deal with. By other such, I mean she stuns, um, and she also. does what? Uh, oh, she does, uh, what's it called? Stress. That doesn't help. I mean, some of the shadows, that's fine by me. That's fine. More strength. Uh, he is blind, though. So, it's a flip of a coin whether he's actually going to hit this next attack. Uh, she does need to get stress relief, though. Yep, that's a miss. Mmm, that hurt. And so he's gonna be on death's door. Bring her down. Can I trust you to do... Well, first off. Uh, can I trust you to do a good job? Yes! That's a very good job, actually. She's back to there. I'm just going to go ahead and kill that one. And then... We'll hit... We'll hit that one. <laughs> and then, if I can plan it correctly... I'm going to... Ooh, that's next. It's on cooldown. You can't run. Hopefully it doesn't kill him. Because I would like to... Reflect down one. And I might just take the killing blow. And then next... Uh, next shot... Immediately that start of that round, I will. Ooh, that's not. It's not needed. It's. I'm being very choosy with my trinkets, um, because one of those effects could, even if it's like minus five percent, could be our downfall. It really could. I'll take that. Perhaps he is not here. I will take that. I will take that. I'll take everything. Ooh. The flapjacks are nice. Um, now the flapjacks are an in item, but they're a really good in item. So, like, that might be something good to replace the bottles with. I'm hoping... Oh, no. I was hoping that 
people would start, you know, being happy with each other, but that's apparently not going to happen. Shrine of Reflection. Now, he called me faithless. Me, that would be... Mm, I think what I'm going to do is maybe do the Jester. I do a Jester. Lately we've been trying the Bastal, we've been trying the Plague Doctor. I think the one successful one we had was the Leper. So let's see what this is now. Um, oh, we have to match it, don't we? So his verse... Okay, I think I'm getting the hang of it. Was pretty easy so what happened was uh his was a different ooh, harvest that's actually really good that's actually really good and i'm wondering why i should give up for that uh, fade to i could because i could use play out to him i could target himself so i am going to do that But, um, so, basically, everything was different, so his, what was it, his, um, his chorus was my bridge or something, like, his, oh, sorry, his verse was my cor uh, chorus, and that's just how it was. Okay, so, I only do two to four damage. I'm... I switched out the wrong ability. Oh no, there it is, Slice Off. I'm actually going to do Slice Off. Well, no, I, I have to heal stress-wise. I have to get that going. I'm pulling that one forward. This guy is going to be the pain. Set him up, hopefully. Nice, nice. He's going to get his attack. Ow. And then we're going to get ours. Okay. I'm pretty sure the Arbalist would have done a shite ton of damage. Let's get that cured so we don't have to worry about it. Uh, might as well pull him forward. It's not going to do much. It will give him a combo, though. We can do damage and bleed. Oh, he resists the bleed. But we can use that, and then do 22 damage to him, which almost kills him. He's at 1 HP. And that's just rude. Pretty sure we could just doink. Oh, damn. We can at least get rid of that. And then, I don't know, Yoink? Okay, good. That was that was a good one. It was only two people, but that was pretty good. It was only two people because that guy is a pain in the ass to deal with. Uh, 
if you have to then deal with someone else like the Arbalist. The Arbalist is not fun to deal with. Uh, mainly because he shoots you once and, well, that's for a few what we got here. We could leave, or we could give them money, or we just give, get flame. I'm going to get flame. Uh, the problem is that these two are starting to hate each other, and I don't want that personally. So if I could find something for those two to do to increase their standing with each other, that would be very good. Oh yeah, I forgot she doesn't have an item equipped. Um, that's probably the best. Equip that as well. And we're on the Oblivion's Rampart. Let's see how this goes. Okay. He's not the worst. Oh, uh, that hurts. And of course he got dazed. Of course he got dazed. Why wouldn't he get dazed? Yep. I'm pulling him. Or... I'm not doing this BS here. Blood bond, that hurts. Let's, uh... Let's hit him. Let's just keep hitting him. Uh... Well, this is gonna suck. That's what we can do is we can do reflection. For now, for setup. And then pull him forward. Okay, good. Next turn, he's got to do his thing. Bone weaving. Damn it. We are then going to, again, attack you. Harvest is probably good for this. No, no, Inspiring Tune is good for this. And then what we could do is get rid of... Get rid of that crit. We get rid of... Yes, the, the crit won't be as much. Okay, dodge. That's good. Eh, that's just rude. Okay. And guess what? Okay, that's for... You're, you're going to be able to kill that, right? Yes. You should be able to kill that. That's why I did Hugh. Um, what we might do is we might jump forward here. And she might have to use her stuff on uh, a lot of things, actually. Let's, uh, let's pull him forward. Ah, uh, he resisted it, damn it. This, this is where it gets tricky. So, personally, here you. Hear this. Yeah, I understand. That's gonna hurt. We can at least attack the one we know we can hit. If we can get this one forward. Damn it. I was hoping because if we get that one forward, then he would have to do a rush attack and not a blood bond, which... Yep. 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 Kneeling time. And the first trumpet. You bastard. Major healing time. You're on death's door. Of course you are. Um, we do need to heal at some point. Uh, why aren't you dead? Uh, we can do Divine Grace on you, because, well, we could heal you up. We can harvest. Um, and that could get rid of one of his stealths. 
We always do that. And I got rid of one of his stealths. And then we can attempt to get rid of the other. Okay, so now he's stealthless. Uh, I'm hoping that we can big heal. Okay, 11. That works. Oh, you're a dick. Uh, we do have to stop him from, well, going back shit crazy. That would be the best option. Judgment. Um, we could heal as well. Or we can attack. I'm going to kill that. It's, not, it's an attack that we don't have to take. It puts our leper at death's door. But if he survives... We can then heal up. And it's down at two now. I want to pull him forward. I really do. That means our... Yeah, we, we can't. We gotta, we gotta do heals. Oh, that does not help. He's gonna be on Death Star again. Yep. Uh, we might lose someone here, actually, and if we do, that sucks. Ugh. I hate this combo for a very specific reason. Oh, yep, yeah, he's insane. Meltdown, yep. Yeah. Uh, and you can't do anything about that. We'll do that. Yeah. He can't do anything in this situation. You're on death's door. We need a really, really good heal on you. 13, that's not too bad. He's dead. Okay, now it's, it's one person. Just survive that one person. Okay. You should have... So you have... Yeah, you, you have 65. What do you have? You have 50. So we're going to heal you first. Honestly, I'd rather hit you slice off. No, and there goes our leper. Alright, well, we might have to get the bounty hunter. So, you're our damage dealer as of now. So, that's a, that's a dangerous, dangerous game we're playing here. He's on Death's Door. He's on Death's Door. Let's heal him up. We don't want to have any issues. And I'm out of position. Which is lovely. There you are. We're on. He's gone. That absolutely sucks. Losing our leper immediately. take all the items um, and we will and we'll just go that's what I'm talking about it, it doesn't matter if you have a good team comp but if you don't have it set up well like I, with the with the tempest for the for the leper I guess he would survive more um, if he had the Wanderer instead, but the Tempest gives him basically 100% resistance to diseases. So this is Desmus. Okay. He got pacifist. But, oh, it looks like we just got um yeah, we just got uh, Desmus instead, which is honestly not a bad trade-off. So what we'll do is Wicked Slice is nice. We'll get rid of Pistol Shot. Put that up. 
Take aim. No. We don't need take aim. There we go. And then for you, we will, of course, I guess give that. Um, I mean, that, uh, he's our damage dealer, though. Give him more. And we could do that as well. Um, this is pretty bad. This is actually pretty bad. But um, well, let's let's see. Uh, for the next, we have the shroud, fog of war. We have to avoid the watchtower, and that'll give us two, which might be is very tempting. And then we also have the sprawl. I'm pretty sure one of our characters wants to go to the he's tracking shot three times in a single fight okay that's gonna be a pain in the ass uh enter the sprawl yep that's him uh the keening well heal all that stuff but we will deal with this all next episode so if you like what you see please leave a like comment subscribe i love hearing from you guys and also if you want to be named after one of these people uh on this horror journey please let me know, and I will put your name in, of course, first come, first serve. On that note, I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I'll see you guys next time.